tall. Oh boy, that's alive. That's that's facial. How's it feel, dude? Pretty good. Yeah. That double kick drum's not as bad. Or maybe kind of getting a little used to it, but the guitar up yeah. there helps smooth it. Yeah. These are all going to a single guitar track, correct? Mm -hmm. At this point. You might have an interest in having some of those broken up, have some flexibility later on, because it doesn't make a big difference when you do change some of the balancing on that. Whether, you, you know, it's a bit, with the one track, if you're committing to the single track, you are pretty much going to have to solve the changing or shaping of it through EQ mm -hmm. later on. And in your past experience, not. you just go with one single track, and mm -hmm. that's your kind of, mm -hmm. you've I'm made a decision. Ambience. There's the right. sound we want. The decision, and, and then we yeah. move forward. And that's something I thought we should come up for discussion. And then you, you hit on the other thing, which is we haven't put in a room mic or any type of room ambience at this point. You know, that's usually something I'm on, on a separate track. Yes, I mean that's traditionally that's kind of how it goes. But whether we should, that's something that should be looked into because it can help give a little bit more of a liveness and feel to yeah. it, as opposed because otherwise your guitar is only going to be right kind of here, you know. And then again, you're solving your placement and stuff. And where it's kind of sitting in the spreading of the sound, you're solving through EQ as opposed to having some controls. This is what your regular way of operating. Well, and you're absolutely, totally this is the regular way I, I normally would operate. Yeah. I mean, the main rhythm guitar having some ambience on it. I I put working with Rick over the years. I put a big chunk of dough down, saying that that track never gets listened to. Right, right. Oh, yeah. I'm it's different for clean things and for. Mm -hmm. Like little, you know, mm -hmm. little bits and yeah. little things, but for the the dude that's driving, yeah, it's a dry, you know. I, mean, you've heard I agree. We've yeah. we've. I remember the first time we went to mix, or we were actually allowed in a mix. <laughs> right, right. This guy had reverb on the guitar. I was like, "What are you doing? You know, yeah. get yeah. that out of there. We want it here. Uh, you know, I don't mind having dimension." Right. Mm -hmm. But if it washes it out, then yeah. I'd it's rather more have it fat in here.